The Abuja School of Social and Political Thought have declared their evidences from the recent elections in Edo, Kogi, Animo State shows that independent National Electoral Commission, IMEC, does not have the capacity to conduct credible polls. The director, Sam Amadi, said this during the presentation of a national action plan for electoral reforms at the second memorial lecture for late activist Dari Ario in Abuja. The conduct of elections is one of the requirements for civil rule, but remained a huge challenge to democratic governance in Nigeria even after the 2022 Electoral Act. This was the major concern at the presentation of a national action plan for electoral reforms by civil rights groups, stressing that there is an urgent need to restore credibility of the process to the electorate. The group wants ANIC to be scrapped and replaced with a different body free from political interference. These guys cannot deliver a free and fair election. It's not possible. If we don't disband, dismantle INEC and reconstruct it according to ways, that 2027 is gone. My only worry is that it may go with the country. That's the only concern. It's not about this going. It may go with the country. It may go with democracy. We had a lot of internal meetings with INEC. And the strange thing was the INEC, the current INEC, is still the current one, they were very, very open, telling us their problems. And so just like Rio, before the 2023 general elections, many of us were not sleeping because we were trying to block the holes. We thought INEC, the persons there, the managers were truthful and were working with them, hoping that the vote, voting will count. And so when you look at the voter turnout and disenfranchisement, the last election was 29%. That voted. That's the general election. So who is voting and who believes in voting itself is another. The rights activists called for a judicial reforms where politically minded persons are not made judges or decide winners of elections. The most heartbreaking of all our plights in this country is the allegations and counter allegations of judicial compromise and, and corruption. There's no economy that can survive and a, a, a nation where the judiciary is not in, truly independent. It, it is so sad that nobody is going to come and invest here if they are not sure that they can get judicial redress when businesses go wrong. The late activist Dari Ario Atoye, who died on October 27, 2022, was a major voice in the civil society space for electoral reforms which culminated in President Muhammad Buhari's accent to the Electoral Arts Amendment B 2022. Oge Ihimekmen, AIT News, Abuja.